at his video shoot, and that was the album cover. Like, so he was a real visionary, bro. Like all that, like all that stuff that was inside our albums. Like I tell people, like all that, all that mysterious, crazy shit that we didn't know what the hell it was. He had all that shit in the album. You know, what I'm saying like on the album, on the, on the inside of the album cover. What's up, Beyond the Harmony? I don't know if you guys use ChatGPT or Google Bard or any AI chatbots, but I was asking it some pretty fun questions about about Bone Thugs and Harmony's E1999 Eternal and some other things. And let's see what some of the results were. So I said, hey, what do you know about Bone's album E1999 Eternal? And it says, well, E1999 Eternal is the second studio album by the American hip hop group Bone Thugs and Harmony, released July 25th, 1995. And it's one of the group's most iconic and successful albums. Here are some key details about the album. Style and themes, chart success, hit singles. Actually, let's look at style and themes. The album is known for its unique blend of rapid fire, melodic rap flows, and its dark, often introspective lyrical content. Bone Thugs and Harmony's members were known for their harmonizing and fast-paced rapping, which set them apart from other hip-hop groups at the time. Chart success. We know about that. Hit singles. First of the month. The Crossroads in East 99. Ouija board controversy. The album cover of E1999 Eternal originally featured a Ouija board, which caused controversy and was eventually replaced with an alternative cover (laughs) due to concerns about the board's association with the occult. I don't know if that's 100% accurate or not, but there it is. Collaborations. The album features collabos with artists such as Easy E and Mo Thugs. Listen to this. Easy E, who signed Bone, appeared on the track Mo Murda. That's inaccurate. Legacy E1999 Eternal is considered one of the seminal albums of the mid 1990s hip hop scene and a classic in the horrorcore subgenre of rap. <laughs> Bone Thugs and Harmony's innovative style and harmonizing techniques influenced many artists who came after them. 7. Dark Themes The album's lyrics often explore dark and gritty themes including violence, street life, and personal struggles. The group's unique delivery and harmonizing added a haunting quality to the storytelling. Overall, E1999 Eternal is a pivotal album in the history of hip-hop and played a significant role in shaping the sound of the mid-1990s rap scene. It remains a fan favorite and a testament to the creativity and talent of Bone Thugs and Harmony. So then I said, could you expand on what you know about the fourth item you listed, the Ouija board controversy? ChatGPT says, certainly. The Ouija board controversy surrounding Bone Thugs and Harmony's album E1999 Eternal revolves around the original album cover, which featured a Ouija board. This choice of cover art generated controversy and led to the album's cover being changed. Here's more information about this controversy. I can't wait to see this because I don't remember that being a Ouija board. 1. Ouija board symbolism. The Ouija board is a game board that is often associated with communicating with spirits or the supernatural. Players typically place their hands on a planchette, which moves to spell out answers to questions posed to the spirit world. Ouija boards have a long history of being associated with occult practices and are sometimes considered a tool for contacting the dead or other supernatural entities. 2. Controversy and Concerns The inclusion of a Ouija board on the album cover raised concerns among some individuals and groups who believed it promoted occultism or spiritualism. Some people viewed it as potentially glorifying or endorsing practices they considered to be against their religious or moral beliefs. 3. The Label's Response In response to the controversy, Ruthless Records, the label that released the album, decided to change the cover art for E1999 Eternal. The original cover with the Ouija board was replaced with an alternative cover, which depicted a group photo of Bone Thugs and Harmony members. Okay, well, well, that part is true. I had never seen this original Ouija board album cover. Four, alternate cover. The alternate cover features a darker color scheme and a group photo of the members, which was less controversial and did not include the Ouija board imagery. This cover art became the widely recognized and accepted version of the album. Hmm, did we just stumble upon something we didn't know? I didn't know about any Ouija board album cover. Five, 
cultural impact, the controversy over the original album cover with the Ouija board added to the mystique of the album and its dark themes. While the cover change addressed the concerns of some, it also became part of the album's cultural legacy. In summary, the Ouija board controversy surrounding E-1999 Eternal was primarily about the original album's cover's use of a Ouija board, which was seen as problematic by some due to its associations with the occult. In response to these concerns, the album cover was changed to an alternative design, which remains the official cover art for the album. So then I ask, what do you know about the Under the CD Tray artwork on E-1999 Eternal? The Under the CD Tray artwork on Bone Thugs and Harmony's E-1999 Eternal album is a notable and often discussed element of the album's packaging. It contains additional imagery and symbols that further contribute to the album's dark and mystical themes. While the primary album cover was changed due to the Ouija board controversy, the Under the CD Tray artwork remains a unique and intriguing aspect of the album. The Under the CD Tray artwork features a depiction of a Ouija board... <laughs> what? <laughs> Continuing the theme from the original album cover. The Ouija board displayed on this hidden artwork is intricately designed, featuring the alphabet, numbers, and various symbols. This design is in line with the album's overall theme, which explores dark and supernatural themes. The inclusion of the Ouija board on this hidden panel reinforces the album's eerie and otherworldly atmosphere. While the Ouija board was deemed controversial for the main album cover and was replaced, it was still included as part of the album's packaging, providing a glimpse into the group's fascination with the occult and mysticism. <laughs> the Under the CD Tray artwork on E1999 Eternal has become an iconic and mysterious element that fans and collectors of the album often discuss and appreciate it adds an extra layer of depth to the album's visual presentation and complements the dark horrorcore themes found in the music and lyrics of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Dude, how, where is ChatGPT coming up with this stuff? Are you aware of the phrase "Don't give props to the devil" printed on the artwork? And it says, "I apologize for any confusion, but as my last knowledge update, I do not have information about that phrase." Okay. It says, for more information about this specific detail, I would recommend reaching out to Bone Thugs and Harmony fans and collectors or exploring dedicated forums and resources that focus on the album's artwork and hidden messages for further insights. All right, now here's where ChatGPT is completely wrong. I asked, who designed the artwork for E1999 Eternal? And it said, oh, well, the artwork for Bone Thugs and Harmony's E1999 Eternal album was designed by a graphic designer and artist named Ross Conkell. The album cover and overall design of the album packaging were created under his artistic direction. Hmm. The original album cover featuring the Ouija board as well as the under the CD tray artwork which contains additional occult imagery were part of Ross Conkell's design work for the album. Ross Conkell's artwork played a significant role in establishing the album's dark and mystical visual theme which complemented the group's mu music and lyrics. While the cover featuring the Ouija board was replaced due to controversy, the Under the CD Tray artwork and its intricate occult symbolism remain iconic and continue to be discussed and appreciated by fans of the album. So what what planet, what dimension did Ross Con... I mean, maybe I don't know, but I was under the assumption that it was Julio and Donald Cunningham and a couple others. But who produced the music on E-1999 Eternal? So I think at this point I was like, well, let me see if it knows anything that's actually true and accurate. And so it said, yeah, Eternal album features production from a variety of producers, including some of the most prominent figures in the hip hop and rap music industry during that era. Some of the key producers involved in the creation of the albums of the album's music include DJ Unique, two, Rhythm D, Rhythm D, also known as Rhythm D, three, Kenny McLeod, four, Tony C. Okay, so now I asked it, so what were some of the songs that were cut from the album? Just to see if it knew. And it said, uh, Eternal album went underwent some changes during the production process, which resulted in the removal of certain songs that were initially intended for the album. Some of the songs that were cut from the original track list or recording during the album sessions but not included on the final release include 
Mo Cheese, but watch this, featuring Tretch of Naughty by Nature. How could it make this stuff up? This track was recorded for the album, but did not make the final cut. It was later released as part of various collections and mixtapes. Not to my knowledge, but okay. Two, Everyday Thang. Another recorded track that was excluded from the album, but has been released on various compilation albums and mixtapes. Semi-true. I mean, we got a fact check chat GBT here. I mean, it was on a, a soundtrack. Three, a Land of the Heartless skit. There is a Land of the Heartless skit? While not a full song, this skit was featured on early pressings of the album, but was later removed in some reissues. Chad GPT is just like straight lying. <laughs> it's not uncommon for albums to have extra tracks recorded during the production process, and some of these tracks may not make it to the final release due to artistic choices, time constraints, or other considerations. In the case of Eternal, some of the unreleased tracks and skits have since become known to fans through various releases and sources. And then I said, uh, in a table format with the columns, year artist album, display to me all of Crazy Bones albums, EPs, singles, features, collaborations, group projects. I, I did that just to see what it would give me. And so it provided me a, uh, a table, which is pretty neat. Looks nice. It's formatted. And it's, part it's mostly true. Could you summarize the plot of the song... Down 71. Down 71, The Getaway. So it knew, you know, I just said Down 71. And it said Down 71, The Getaway is a track from Bone thugs and harmonys album. The song tells a narrative about a crime and the subsequent escape or getaway by the protagonists. Here's a summary of the plot. The lyrics depict a scenario involving criminal activities, including a heist or robbery that takes place on or around Interstate 71, often referred to as 71. The members of Bone Thugs and Harmony describe their involvement in criminal actions, including robbery and possibly violence. The theme of the song revolves around the challenges and dangers of a criminal lifestyle, with the group members portraying characters engaged in illegal activities. The title, Down 71, suggests that the events are unfolding along or connected to the highway. Throughout the song, the Bone Thugs and Harmony members use their signature rapid fire and melodic flow to convey the intensity of the situation. The narrative captures the gritty and dangerous aspects of street life, portraying a sense of urgency and tension as the characters navigate the consequences of their criminal actions. As with many Bone Thugs and Harmony tracks, the storytelling on Down 71 reflects the group's ability to blend intricate narratives with their distinctive rap style, creating a vivid and immersive experience for the listener within the context of the larger thematic elements explored in E1999 Eternal. Could you list me all of the examples of occult references on the album? The Eternal album features various occult and supernatural references. Contributing to its dark and mystical themes, here are some examples of occult references found on the album. One, the Ouija board imagery. Two, under the CD tray artwork. Three, the album title. The album title itself, E1999 Eternal, contains as esoteric and occult undertones suggesting a connection to both the year 1999 and the concept of eternity. Dark and Supernatural Themes and Lyrics Throughout the album, the lyrics explore dark and supernatural themes, including references to death, the afterlife, and the struggles of life in a gritty urban environment. 5. Skit Content Skits, such as Mr. Ouija, further contribute to the occult atmosphere. In this skit, a character named Mr. Ouija appears, reinforcing the mystical and supernatural elements. Let's see. It's important to note that Bone's use of occult references is artistic and contributes to the overall thematic elements of the album. These references are part of the group's storytelling and creative expression rather than a promotion of occult practices. The decision to include occult imagery and themes aligns with the horrorcore subgenre, which often incorporates dark and supernatural elements into its lyrics and visuals. What would you you consider Bones' most dark song in their entire catalog. 
Bone's, Bone has a catalog filled with dark introspective songs, making it subjective to determine the absolute darkest. <laughs> However, one song is often cited for its particularly dark themes and tone is Mr. Ouija from the Eternal album. This track is a skit that features a character. Okay, so we know all that. In addition to Mr. Ouija, other songs like Mo Murda and Shots to the Double Glock from the same album and tracks such as Hellsent from the Creeping on a Come Up EP also delve into dark subject matter. The choice for the darkest song might vary based on individual interpretations of lyrics. All right, so let's see. Summarize the plot of Bone Enterprise's song. Hell sent from the album Faces of Death. Hell sent depicts a narrative that reflects the harsh reality. <laughs> That's the same thing. So with all that, I don't think ChatGPT is as awesome as Google Bard. So now let's go over to Google Bard and see what Google Bard can tell us. Now this is where it gets crazy. So I said, what do you know about the album E1999 Eternal? So it gave me, you know, the basic stuff. I just wanted to make sure that it, it knew what was going on. And it says, here are some of the most notable tracks from the album. <laughs> it lists basically the whole album. So I knew like, all right, the, the AI knows what's up. It likes the whole album. So E1999 is a classic and it should be enjoyed. Okay. Could you tell me anything about the album's artwork? And so I said, yeah, sure. The artwork for Bone Thugs and Harmony E1999 Eternal album is one of the most iconic in history. It features a mass grave with the group's members standing over it, each of them wearing their signature black hoodies and sunglasses. The sky in the background is a dark and ominous shade, and the overall mood of the image is one of foreboding and despair. <clears throat> the album's artwork was designed by Ruthless Records art director Ron New Money Brooks. Okay, so once again, we, we're getting strange answers. Brooks wanted to create an image that reflected the dark and violent themes of the album, as well as the group's reputation as being from the streets. He also wanted to create an image that would be both eye-catching and memorable. Brooks has said that he was inspired by the artwork for the horror films The Exorcist and The Omen. He also said that he wanted to create an image that would be provocative and disturbing. And, okay, the album's artwork was controversial when it was first released, but it has since become one of the most iconic and respected images in hip-hop history. It is a perfect visual representation of the album's dark and atmospheric sound. The album's artwork has been referenced and parodied countless times in the years since its release. It has also been used as the cover for numerous other albums and mixtapes. The album's artwork is a powerful and disturbing image, but it's also a testament to the group's creativity. I, I kind of feel like I'm just getting BS'd here, but... So are you familiar with the artwork underneath the CD tray? Okay, now here's where it starts to get crazy. Bard tells me, yes, I am familiar with the artwork underneath the CD tray of Bone Thugs and Harmony's E1999 Eternal album. It is a hidden message that can only be seen when the two discs in the album are placed together. What? The message is a series of symbols and runes, and it has been speculated that it is a curse. However, the true meaning of the message is unknown. The hidden message was first discovered in 2023 by a YouTube user named Beyond the Harmony. What? He posted a video about the discovery on his channel and it quickly went viral. Since then, many fans have tried to decipher the message, but no one has been able to do so successfully. Some fans have even suggested that the message is a hoax, but Beyond the Harmony has insisted that it is real. <laughs> The hidden message is a fascinating mystery, and it has added to the mystique of Bone Thugs and Harmony's E1999 Eternal album. It is a reminder that there is still more to discover about this classic album, even after all these years. Dude. Okay, I mean, for you guys, it's probably entertaining to see that, but for me, it is freaky <laughs> to see AI reference a video I made in 2023 and, and attribute it to Beyond the Harmony. This is bonkers. I'm, I'm glad it says Beyond the Harmony and not my name. That really would have creeped me out. Do you know anything about the message printed on the inner spine of both sides 
of the under the tray artwork. Okay, well, while this answer is incorrect, let's just see. He says, yeah, you're right. There is another hidden message on the Eternal besides the runes under the CD tray. <laughs> this one, printed on the inner spine on both sides of the artwork, has remained largely unnoticed and is even more cryptic than the first. <laughs> the message appears as a series of seemingly random letters and numbers and interspersed with symbols like skulls and crossbones. Deciphering it has become a kind of holy grail for diehard Bone Thugs fans with numerous theories floating around. Phone number. Some believe it is a coded phone number leading to a secret voicemail or recording by the group. Or a cipher key. Others propose it's a key to unlock the deeper meaning of the runes under the tray. Or even other hidden messages within the album. Alien language. Some even speculate it's a message in an alien language hinting at the group's fascination with the occult and supernatural. Unfortunately, there is no definitive answer to what the message means. Bone thugs have remained tight-lipped about it, adding to the intrigue. This ambiguity has fueled countless fan theories and discussions, keeping the album's mystique alive even decades after its release. Here are some additional details about the message. It's printed very faintly almost like a watermark, making it even harder to decipher. The message on each side of the spine is slightly different, adding another layer of complexity. Some fans have noticed similarities between the symbols and those used in ancient occult practices, further fueling speculation about its hidden meaning. Whether you're a casual listener or a diehard Bone Thugs fanatic, the hidden message on Eternal is a fascinating mystery that adds to the album's rich lore. It's a testament to the group's creativity and their ability to leave their fans puzzling and intrigued even after all these years. If you're interested into delving deeper, there are numerous online forums and communities dedicated to cracking the code of the hidden message. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the one to finally unlock its secrets. Uh, do you know the names of any of these numerous online forums and communities so I could go visit them? Here are some online forums and communities where you might find discussions about the hidden messages on Eternal. Websites, Dog Pound Underground, The Crossroads Message Board, Bone Thugs in Harmony, The Underground. This website is a fan-run archive of Bone Thugs interviews, articles, and lyrics. Social media, Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, Beyond the Harmony. Holy smokes. It lists us first. YouTube, Beyond the Harmony. This YouTube channel is the same one that discovered the hidden message under the CD tray. you got to be kidding me. He has several videos discussing the messages as well as theories about their meaning. Other Bone Thugs fan channels. Many Bone Thugs fans have created YouTube channels dedicated to the group. Some of these channels might have videos. Discussing the hidden messages. Remember, the hidden messages are a long-standing mystery, and there's no guarantee that you'll find definitive answers. All right. As for other specific symbolism on the album artwork, here are a few things to consider. Religious imagery. Crosses. Several crosses are visible on the tombstones in the mass grave, a common symbol of death in Christianity. However, their upside-down orientation could be interpreted as a rejection of traditional faith or a symbol of the occult. Angels and demons. Some fans have seen figures with wings in the background, <clears throat> potentially representing angels or demons, further emphasizing the album's exploration of good and evil. Skull and flames. The skull and flames above the mass graves are potent symbols of mortality and hellfire, reinforcing the album's preoccupation with death and damnation. Gangster rap symbolism. Black hoodies and sunglasses. Closed caskets. Hands in pockets. <laughs> Other hidden meanings, 1999 and the Apocalypse. The number seven appears se several times in the artwork on tombstones. All right, so if you guys made it this far, you might want to try using AI chatbots such as ChatGPT, Google Bard, and let us know the crazy answers you guys get and see if it references Beyond the Harmony at all. And 
yeah, if you find something amazing that we didn't know, let us know. Because we're in a new age right now with the AI. It's pretty bananas so far. I mean, just, dude, for real, to see Google Bard <laughs> reference Beyond the Harmony as, like, being a, a source for bone information. But, you know, it's kind of like you don't get to choose the spirit. The spirit chooses you. And I'm honored that we were worthy to be chosen. That's great. That's great. I, I guess we're honored by the artificial intelligence. On behalf of everybody at Beyond the Harmony, this is Jonathan Lippy, and we will see you on the next one. Beyond the Harmony for the fans we celebrate.